Hey, what is up guys? I do I help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys some really cool iPhone tricks that are still compatible with the latest iOS 14. You guys have been asking on my YouTube comments, are these older tricks still compatible with iOS 14? So in this video, I'm going to answer that question and share with you guys some older tricks that are still compatible. Now you may know some of these and you may not even know about these yet, but let's go ahead and to begin if you want to see more videos like this leave a comment down below make sure you click that like button so that i know and make more videos on these really cool tricks so first how to hide a picture on the camera roll of your iphone now there's a few ways you can go about doing this you can use a face id or touch id to securely lock certain pictures and i'm gonna show you how to do that so for example click select here and let's say i want to hide these two images here i can click on the share icon here and click on copy so let's go ahead and click on copy here and this will actually copy the images to the clipboard. Then you wanna head on over to the notes application and create a brand new note. Now make sure before you do this, you create a password for notes so that you can lock these in place. Now, once you're done creating the note and creating the passcode, go ahead and paste those in place. And this will actually save the images directly to the notes. Right there they are. Now, all you have to do is press on this glyph here and this will ask you if you wanna lock these in place. So we're gonna lock them, enter the password that you've pre-created with the notes application in settings, and now you click okay, and you can lock these notes directly within the notes application or these photos within the notes application. Click on the lock, and then they'll be locked in place. Just click it, and now they're locked. No one can really see the images any longer. Now you can actually go back to the camera roll and delete them from your iPhone, and they will still be in the notes application locked in place of course you can remove the lock using the same method and you can apply lock and passwords settings under the notes extension in the settings application so you want to visit the notes extension here and create a password for your notes and this allows you to use face id as well as touch id if you decide to do that as well now apple has a hidden feature in ios for photos but what if you want to hide those photos not in the notes but in plain sight right here in the photos application well there's a way to do that now if you click on select and you click on share for an image here and you click here on hidden or hide this will actually save it to a folder in the actual photos application called hidden and they're not really hidden. We all know that because you can go back into the albums here and you'll find all the hidden photos directly on the album with no protection, no passcode, no touch ID, no face ID. Anyone can just simply click from here to here and see those images that you have hidden. But I bet you can't tell there's five images here instead of four. If we click here, that is another image. It is hidden in plain sight. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I'm gonna click edit and click revert. And there it is. Boom, you'll see an image pop into place. How do I do that? Well, very simple. Select the image, click on edit, click on markup, and on markup, you wanna go ahead and select here, the plus icon, right there. Then you wanna click on the little square, then you wanna click here, and select the square that's fully filled in, this one here, the one at the very end. Then you wanna change the color of the center of the square, to black so it blends in with the background there okay and now we can go back and we can just kind of stretch this all the way out and we'll see here oops let's go back here let's clear that go back and do this this just like so like that and like that now it's hitting in plain sight no one will ever know that that's actually a photo there at the end of that album just like i showed you earlier no one will really say why is this a black screen here they'll just keep scrolling through and you can hide it in plain sight so that's how you lock with face id and protecting those photos within the notes and how to hide them in plain sight now i want to show you how to record video on your iphone while the display is entirely off so you can go ahead and record that video and no one knows that you're capturing the video but before we do that let's have a quick word from our sponsor so today's video is sponsored by Wormho. Wormho is the bridge between your computer and your mobile device compatible with Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. This allows you to control the entire experience of your iOS or mobile device directly using the Wormho software. Now right here we have several options and software key features that are very, very cool. So you have 
full control of your iOS device. You can browse social media, go shopping, browse the web, launch applications, etc. You can even control the UI using the trackpad on your computer. We can go back to the home screen here. I can even reply directly to messages right here using Wormhole. And another great feature worth mentioning is that Wormhole also supports multiple device connection simultaneously. And by the way, if you use promo code iDeviceHelp, you will get 30% off your next purchase. And if you have any questions at all, by the way, you can always visit their frequent ask questions here on their website. So check them out. Wormhole links will be in the description down below. So let me go ahead and show you how to capture that video while the display appears to be turned off. So the first thing you want to do is head on over to settings. You want to go to camera and then you want to go to preserve settings right here on the top. You want to go to camera mode and turn this on. Now, once we go back to the camera application, we want to pre-select video. All right, so now we're all set. So every time we launch the camera app, now we'll be video. Then we're going to ask Siri to uh, turn on voice control and just follow along with my instructions here. Turn on a voiceover. Okay, so voiceover is on. Now, to dismiss Siri on a Touch ID device, just press on Touch ID and dismiss. On an iPhone with Face ID, sometimes it can be complicated. You have to swipe from the bottom and hold in the center. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But just keep swiping from the bottom until you see Siri dismissing. So it should be like this, swiping from the bottom and holding to dismiss. As you can see there, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Once it does, just go to camera. It's a lot easier on Touch ID devices. Just tap it once to select double tap to launch and then we're going to tap on the record video right here the option to record double tap to record here we go so one to select two to record just like that now it's recording now with three fingers triple tap on the screen one two three it's going to show you one two three there it is screen curtain now it is capturing the video three fingers three tap now it's back screen curtains off again three fingers three type one two three still capturing video three fingers three type there you go select once double tap to stop turn off voiceover turn off voiceover turn off voiceover voiceover off and there we are now you have the video that was being captured there at the, the video right there it is so with audio and everything there you go the screen is off but it is still capturing video as you can see there so there it is so pretty cool how to capture video on your iphone while the display is off. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to click the like button and let me know in the comments down below if you knew about these. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you real soon. Peace.